Hey guys, Ryan Rose coming at you, and today I'm going to show you how to be a cowboy in Wisconsin. To get started, you always want to have a good base layer. It's all about layering. When that wind's blowing, the snow's coming, the sleet's falling, you want to be layered up. You start with a base layer, it says cold proof on it. You want to make sure if it says cold proof, you're good to go. So this is your base layer. Then you got your Wranglers. Insulated jeans are a must have for any cowboy in the winter time. Okay, next up, let's talk about your socks. Let's talk about your feet. No feet, no cowboy. Okay, very important. Again, we got weatherproof socks. This is your base layer. Then you got your wool mid layer. And then you got your thermal outer layer, followed up with some feet warmers. Don't forget the feet warmers. They're a good investment, they're worthwhile. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about your upper half. You got, you got your base layer, you got your polypropylene. This goes on first, okay? It's gonna help keep that moisture off you on those long rides or bronchi horses. Then you got your mid-weight thermal, okay, under that. After that, you move on to a nice zip-up jacket, okay? After that, you got your heated vest. Make sure you turn it on. You want the hand part too. You want to activate all sections of the vest. Very important. Okay, zipped up. Next up, we have our heated jacket. When you're talking about staying warm in the winter time, there's no such thing as too many layers or too many heated outfits. Put your battery pack in. Make sure it's full. You don't want it to quit on you halfway through the ride. Fire it up. Red's the hot setting. Keep it on red. Don't, don't mess around with the white or blue settings. You want to go red. Stay warm out there. Okay, next up, let's talk about the head here. So, it's all about layering again. So you got your neck warmer here. You take your cowboy hat off. Some people like a a good silk scarf. Sometimes when your hands are so cold you can't take them out of the gloves to tie them up. Just being honest. They look cool, but just a regular buff, easier to put on, okay? Then, next up, you got your snowmobile or hood. Put this on. Tuck it all the way down in there. Don't leave any exposed skin. And you got your Carhartt hat. Okay. Once you get to here, now you put your cowboy hat on. Sometimes you gotta get one that's just a little bit too big. Sometimes you gotta kinda of work it down a little bit. Make sure it's all the way on. So that's not gonna fall off when you get riding fast. Okay. Last but not least, you're gonna put your jacket on. Your last jacket, this is your windbreaker. This is gonna keep the snow from melting on you and getting wet. Okay. Now. Let's talk about your lower half here. After your insulated pants, you want your snow pants, okay? Under the snow pants, you got your chores, muck boots. Riding's a chore in the wintertime, don't forget the chores, work boots, okay? Spurs will slide on right over them, then you get your leggings on the outside. At this point, you're ready to add your gloves. You want to start off with, a, again, a base layer. It's all about layering, base layer. So you can't have any exposed skin. So if you need to pull your iPhone out, send a message or something, you need a glove with a touch, touch screen compatibility, okay? And then you go with your wool gloves. They're on the outside. These are mittens now. Got to keep those fingers close together. Takes a little extra time, but it's worth it. Last but not least, you get riding fast in that cold weather, the eyes are going to start to run a little bit. Going to put those ski goggles on. Get your hat screwed on. You're ready to ride.
He needs a rest. Go arrest him. Why don't you go grab Trigger? Whoa. Where'd you say them cows were at? <laughs> 